In section 4.3, they want us to be able to identify influential observations in objective 3. So let's go ahead and do that. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to find a box plot. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a box plot for both of the set of data that we have. We have the age and x, then we have hours of study. And so we're going to go to graph, we're going to select box plot, and then we're going to select both of these. Okay, and then we're going to scroll down and make sure that we draw boxes horizontally and make sure fences are used to identify any outliers. So here are our box plots. So when we take a look at the box plot, we're going to see that there is an outlier over here. Okay, and that outlier is given by the following point, which is uh, row 26, and that says X is 36. So let's take a look at that data set. So when we take a look at the data set in our stack crunch, okay, we're going to scroll down and it says here that we're looking for row 26. So if we scroll down to row 26, we will see that there is the value of X and the value of Y. So therefore, this point right here would then be the influential observation, and that would be the outlier.